बाप तो बोलता है जैसे ये लोग कमाते खाते हैं ना तू भी ऐसे कमाए खाएगा और कोई मुश्किल नहीं है और और आपको भी पैसा मिलेगा जहाद करने के बाद क्या होता है ऐसा बोलते थे वो इज्जत होता है और ये सवाब का काम है नेकी है बोलता था कि जन्नत में जाओगे तो हम भाई मैंने कहा नहीं यार बागो मैं ये नहीं बर्दाश्त करता मैं नहीं मैं अच्छा नहीं लगता है पता नहीं दो दो टाइम मैगजी ने था हाँ। आ, में कितने लोग उनको मारा पता नहीं ये बस ऐसे चलाते रहे बस चलाते रहे अभी ये आ, आज कितने बजे तक काम करने वाले थे आज हाँ नहीं नहीं वो होता था जब तक जिंदा रहो वहाँ ट्रेनिंग तो बहुत अच्छा लिया है तुम लोगों ने बराबर है जिहाद जिहाद करने को आए ना तुम लोग Exploited, misguided, or simply a ruthless, hardened terrorist? It's a question that vexed the Mumbai police immediately after they captured Ajmal Amir Kasab, the only terrorist to be caught during the mayhem of November 26, 2008. Were these varying shades of character a sign of a complicated personality, or were they deliberate fronts put up to confuse and misguide his interrogators? For the world, Mohammad Ajmal Amir Kasab was seen only through photographs. He became the face of 2611 carnage, but the real Kasab emerged much later during his interrogation and the trial that followed. As judgment day comes closer we unravel Ajmal Kasab the terrorist the face the man perhaps the only one who could tell us the real story of the most audacious attack on the Indian Republic As this silver skoda screeched headlong into the police barricade on Girgaum Chaupati the police team there had little idea of the drama that would follow how the next 15 minutes would alter the terror and diplomatic landscape of india us haath se ki ek hi positive bazu main kahunga ki hum log ek zinda aakat utwadi hamare pure team ne pakda aur ye ek duniya ke liye ek misal ho gaya even as the carnage of 2611 was unfolding across south mumbai this one terrorist was captured alive thanks to the sacrifice of esi tukaram umble It was a huge breakthrough. The man was Muhammad Amir Ajmal Kasab, a Pakistani national, professionally trained and sent along with nine others with instructions to carry out the boldest terror attack on India ever. Within minutes of his questioning, the officers realized what they were up against. Yeah, they have done a lot of things. Okay. Who is saying it? Chacha is saying it. In the first hour of interrogation, it was clear that the conspiracy had its roots in Pakistan, and the masterminds, known for running terror factories that churned out many kasabs. Kasab said Hafiz Saeed, Zakiu Rahman, Lakwi, and other bosses at the Lashkar-e-Toiba's Muzaffarabad camp were happy with his training. ये इंसानियत नहीं वो तुम्हारे सब कुछ मार देते हैं तो तुम्हें आज भी उन्होंने गरीबी में छोड़ा हुआ है खुद वो दुनिया की दौड़ में आ गए हैं वो होता था जब तक जिंदा रहो मारते रहो मारते रहो The interrogator soon found Kasab's background was ideal for Hafiz Saeed's recruitment needs a primary school dropout and a daily wage laborer from village Farid Court in Punjab province's backward Okara district Kasab tried to portray himself as a victim pushed by poverty to join this terror mission. 